What's happening guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're diving back into another Arvon beer and this time it's going to be Stemless, which is a double hazy IPA clocking in at 9% ABV. So disclaimer, I've seen this before. It was in the old packaging, which was the water painting some years ago. I don't know how recent it was or how long ago it was. I've just seen so many different Arvon beers that it's hard to remember what I have had and what I haven't. I want to say that I've had this, but again, it wasn't in this packaging. It was that old water painting can art. Also, not sure if it was 9%. I don't know if they've refined or changed the recipe, but I have not reviewed it. I looked at Untapped. I looked at the channel unless I missed it. Have not seen it, guys. So this is a 9% fermented with Savion Blanc juice, hopped with Hellertal Blanc, uh, Nelson Sauvin, and Mosaic. I looked away and then I realized there was more hops in this beer. <laughs> So uh, this, there's a lot of action going on in here. Uh, again, I feel like I've seen this or maybe I've had it, but I have not reviewed it with you guys. Um, we'll see today what I feel about this. So this was canned on July 9th and today's the 22nd. Um, so still pretty darn hazy and pretty darn fresh, obviously. Um, here we are. It's another $5.99 double Dippa, guys, or double New England, if you will. So let's dive in. And look, I did something cool today, stemless wine glass with the stemless double hazy IPA. Let's jump into this one. So not sure what to expect, because again, may or may not have had this, but do not remember. Um, definitely remember the name though. So this is a thick boy as I pour this. Man, that's a sexy looking dipper. Wow. High acidity, high carbonation, uh, at least bubbling streaming to the top. Quite thick. Uh, that, that signature fluffy, Creamy head sitting on top for being 9%. Boy, that looks a little bit more luscious than it should, and it looks awesome in the glass, guys. Let's go to an aroma. Sweet honey pine, uh, and again, this whiny, kind of grapey, uh, fresh touch that it's got on the top. It, it's hard to explain what it is. Like, yes, it has this white grape that's got this juicy quality and then it has that kind of slight juicy uh, Riesling slash Sauvignon Blanc touch to it. Um, I love white wine, but I prefer red. So I guess it's strange to me that we're incorporating wine recipes or factors into a beer, but it's freaking Arvon. That's what they do. They do these crazy things and it's very unique. What a beautiful twist they're putting on a beer. So yeah, I can see this being the Sauvignon Blanc juice, or AKA uh, some sort of white grape juice that's put in here because it's got that refreshing quality. It's got that slight sweetness. Um, maybe that, that bit of acidity coming off the top that you get on some of those wines. But I also smell like sweet tangerine and I smell uh, you know a little bit of melon, a little bit of berries. It smells awesome. Um, it, it's hard to even wrap my head around what's going on in here. It's got this slight bit of dankness as well. Um, it just smells nice all the way around with a signature touch you don't get on many beers. Um, let's check it out. It's stemless. Cheers. Yeah, so white grapes for days. I mean, it's juicy. Um, there's a little bit of herbaceousness coming off the back end with the hops but there's also that higher acidity, again, and bitterness that's leading towards the end of the beer. 9% juicy, man. It's, it's, it's peachy. It's, it's got a beautiful touch of wine decadence. It's got a soft mouthfeel at 9%. Yeah, this is like dangerous and it's borderline wrong what Arvon does on, these, on, on some of these beers. Soft lemon, juicy white grape, that grape juice quality. Again, slight acidity, uh, nice bitterness on the back end. Uh, a little bit of uh, dank berries, like blueberries and or um, strawberry. And then there's a little like touch of, uh, of lemon and like watermelon, I would say. I'm getting really descriptive here, aren't I? But it's got such a wide range of things you could kind of incorporate into this beer. But again, I think the biggest takeaway is that Sauvignon Blanc juice or this, this white grapey complex that it holds. Um, but 
going down a little too buttery. So again, burping up a little bit of green hoppiness, a little bit of herbaceousness. Um, and it's just, it's, it's got this higher acidity complex that you can feel in your throat. Um, but boy, it's a magical concoction going on in here. Like I feel like a lot of people who enjoy hazies would be like, what is this? This is awesome. This is different. It's so unique and it's going down way too smoothly at 9%. You can feel a little bit of the ethanol on the back end. It feels a little gassy. Um, it feels a little, uh, you know, gasoline-y, if you will. Terrible descriptor. <laughs> but it, you can feel the octane that it's a bigger beer, but it's hidden so well by those white grapes. Uh, it's hidden so well by this juicy complex and this fruity complex on the front and middle. It's good. It's a good beer. It's crazy. It's out there. It's unique. It's uh, something you'll you'll remember, and I won't forget this one. I didn't forget it last time. I saw this, and I might I may have tried it, but again, I don't remember it being nine percent, and I don't remember what I said about it. So if I had it, I'm sorry. I don't remember. Um, but it's a crazy beer. I like less ABV and more drinkability, but it's got a lot of action going on in this glass. It's tasty. Wow. I'm just gonna go, thanks Knox being loud as hell. Um, I'm just gonna go with a four one out of five. I feel like I've been hitting Arvon with a lot of four ones, but um, <sighs> drinkability, I feel like I could get a little bit tired of this. I feel like um, the body's big. It, it's just, it's a big bruiser and um, it does go down very smoothly. But for me, like there, there's some sort of like hoppy sweetness that would wear my palate down a little bit if I had to critique it. So otherwise other people would go nuts about it. It's a great beer. It's crazy. Borderline wrong. Um, four, one out of five for me, guys. It's been another Arvon review. Thanks for being here. I'm over and out. Cheers.